All right, boys, I was about to go live, and uh, TDU dropped some news on us. Launch feedback and next steps. This says 300 fixes. 300 fixes are coming in their first big patch. Now, uh, you know, hey, maybe this should have happened before, you know, official launch uh, during the early access. But look, we're getting it. Look, if they can really nail this patch and nail like server issues and shit, I'm sure people will come back because we got ranked starts in four days. And if we can't get ranked matches like we still can't, I'm going to have to resort to like streaming and getting people to like join my group and hoping that the group races work and then we get going. But anyway, look, um, if you've seen this video, I'm live. Come come hang out. All right. Look, Test Drive Solar Crown has been available to all players since September 12th on PC, PS5 and Xbox Series XS. If you haven't seen it yet, we invite you to check out the launch trailer below. OK, so um, what did they say on the discord here? It says servers, optimization, compensation, upcoming updates, and development stages. We are providing more details and answers to most of the topics raised by the community in our latest official communication. And here we are with that. Okay, we've seen the trailer. So there's there's a lot here. There's a lot here, okay? This launch is the culmination of over six years of development by a little over 90 developers, animators, designers, artists, and many others. Test Drive and Limited Solar Crown is a project particularly close to our team's hearts. It is now time to revisit most of the topics raised by the community with you while also sharing information on the next stage of developments. Now, we've needed communication, so this is this is big, all right? There's a lot here, all right? So let's see what we got. As you know, September 5th marked the start of early unlock for Gold Edition owners. Beyond this early unlock, players also got to discover six exceptional cars in their garage, three exclusive sticker packs, and three unique legendary outfits. However, the early unlock launch did not go as we had hoped. Many of you experienced connection and or game access issues. From day one, we focused all our efforts on improving the game services to allow most players to enjoy the long-awaited test drive and limited solar crown experience. As mentioned in our previous official communication regarding the server issues, we continue every day to work tirelessly to resolve these problems once and for all. Today, although the majority of issues have been resolved, have they though? Have they? Because everybody's still having all the same issues. It's just more scattered. Um, there are still persistent cases in certain regions platforms. PS5, USA, me, big issues still, including an issue related to saves, which is currently being fixed. Several reasons explain this. Every day since September 5th, New milestones of simultaneous players have been reached. This pushes the servers and the game's databases to face new technical challenges leading to unprecedented network issues. Although the previous playtests and beta phases helped us anticipate and prevent many imbalances for the launch, some technical scenarios could only be discovered with the player volume present at launch. Look, man, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I'm calling bullshit because all the same issues we had in the beta were were apparent at early access like come on man i know more players are gonna come in but the steam numbers weren't that great i don't know what console was but i think they only hit four thousand steam players the first day that's nothing that's not a lot certain technical solutions also require extensive internal testing before deployment to ensure they don't cause side effects or additional issues we prioritize smooth and transparent solutions for players as much as possible rather than large maintenance periods that make the game unavailable and disconnect all players for several hours we are now confident in resolving the main issues encountered and still consider the improvement of technical services a priority every day new fixes are applied in the coming days, larger operations will take place to deploy more profound fixes. These may sometimes require server maintenance or even the download of a patch. In any case, you will be informed in advance through our various social media channels. All I can say is we got four days until ranked. It better come before then. All right, compensation. Everybody's wondering about this. As also mentioned, our previous official communication regarding server issues, we confirm that compensation will be sent to all players who experience incomplete gameplay due to connection server issues. We are especially thinking of Gold Edition owners who could not fully enjoy the early unlock starting on September 5th. That's me. Uh, many of you are wondering about the nature of the compensation. We're considering compensation that matches the frustration caused by the issues encountered. While ensuring we don't create unfairness for unaffected players or disrupt the unique progression balance of Test Drive and Limb Solar Crown, although it's too early to confirm what this compensation will be, rest assured it will not simply be a number of solar coins or an avatar cosmetic. Okay, so we're not going to get money. 
we're not going to get a cosmetic. So what could they give us? Something that's not going to like hinder or disrupt the in-game economy. Uh, interesting. I don't know what that's going to be. Huh. Have to find out. Um, optimization and graphics. This is a big one. As you know, uh, I've been playing on quality mode on PS5 because once you get the hyper cars, performance mode, the FPS drops too much. Uh, beyond connection, server issues, optimization frame rate, and graphics on PC or consoles are also causing reactions. Although optimization and graphical quality have been greatly improved since the first play test or the latest beta, some of you feel there's still room for improvement. There is. Definitely is. Rest assured, we're also working hard on those aspects. A major update aimed at further improving the visual experience is currently in progress. We will share more details soon. Okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. I mean, we knew this game has been delayed for what? Three years? Was it supposed to come out September 2021? <sighs> Look, man, you know, as long as it gets there, I feel like this game, give it a year's time to get all the Ibiza plan wars the casino and then see what's coming the start of year two and the houses like give it a full solid year and this game's gonna be it's people are gonna flock back it's gonna be solid i, I guarantee it's just sad that it's gonna take some time and i feel like ranked races and the whole solar core thing is gonna be a little hard to get into at first you know in the meantime here's some important tips to ensure the best visual experience possible in test rounds for pc players okay yeah Minimum specs, blah, blah, blah. For console players, um, yeah, obviously, both of these really don't work that well. So, you know, don't hesitate to experiment with both modes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, okay, next steps. The coming weeks will be eventful, both to improve your gaming experience and to offer you exclusive new content. First major patch. First major patch. Very soon, our first major patch will be available for all PC, PS5, and xsx players this update will include more than 300 fixes i mean they've been busy that's a lot of fixes you know what i mean that's a lot of freaking fixes varying in importance and based on your feedback they may concern visual issues on hong kong island or the different interfaces but also gameplay balancing for ais or races okay because uh, a lot of people have been complaining about the ai every once in a while the ai is a little cracked and they're a little crazy um, I had an AI beat me on one of the crown jewel races by like seven minutes, <laughs> which is fucking nuts. Um, but I'm assuming gameplay balancing like the 812 super fast or like the 918 spider being fucking retarded fast. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see what's going on there. Beyond these fixes, this patch will also significantly improve game optimization, frame rate, on all platforms, the minimum and recommended configurations will be updated accordingly. It will also improve the compatibility and functionality of certain peripherals, steering wheels, shifters, pedals, etc. As a reminder, you can check the list of compatible peripherals as well as known issues here. And there's a link. This patch is currently undergoing thorough checks and intensive tests to ensure everything is functional once applied to the game and to reduce risk during deployment. We will share detailed information and the release date on our various social media channels dev diary in preparation beyond the technical optimization topics that are currently a priority for our teams we're also closely monitoring your feedback on our social media as well as from content creators youtube twitch more broadly this helps us better understand your feedback on the game itself gameplay features balance etc very soon uh alan creative director at kt racing will return with you in a dev diary video to discuss the game's launch and the main topics at heart the heart of community discussions optimization offline mode balancing ai etc oh shit offline mode i think like they're realizing maybe they can't really keep up with the servers as much my only thing is right if they actually do an offline mode ranked is going to be even harder to do there's only going to be like a core sweat core of like players like me you know some other that are really into like pvp that are going to do it and then basically the main bulk of the community as it is now like nobody wants to instant challenge like the minimum pot is one thousand dollars you get thirty thousand from a race why won't you just race somebody for a thousand it's nothing literally nothing you don't get any like okay you lose a thousand if you lose you still get experience you get way more clan experience even from losing in an instant challenge 
than you would just doing a clan race. Like, I don't understand why people are so afraid to do instant challenges in the game. It's such a fun thing to do. So what? You don't like PvP? Just do it. It's a, it's a race. It's fun. Engage with the people playing the game. It'll keep the game fun and fresh. But, like, if they do an offline mode, that's my only worry, right? Not going to be enough people on the actual servers they'll be playing offline. And then it's like... Well, that's poop. I mean, it'll get more people playing the game. It'll make more sales for them because people could come in. Oh, I can just race the AI and have fun. But I mean, there's still going to be people playing online, but it won't be as much. And that kind of sucks. But at the same time, maybe for the longevity of the game, that's probably the best thing. And I know a lot of people want offline mode, so we'll see. But um, yeah, I mean, they did. They talked originally about offline mode at end of life and they didn't want to think about it. So if now they're going to talk about it because the game has been review bombed and everybody's pissed about it, probably in their best interest to set that up. I mean, it, everything in the game as of right now is a single player experience. Nothing works because the servers suck. I can't group up and do races. I can't, no ranked races, nobody, there's not enough players to fill it because it's not cross play, it's region locked. And like, it's so bad. So even if they add offline mode, it's no different than the whole 80 hours I've played so far. I've never, I think I got one person in a race one time. You know what I mean? So, but post launch content announcement video. For those who haven't seen it yet, we've announced uh, most of the updates you expect uh, Ibiza, Clan Wars, the casino, and answers on topics eagerly awaited, real estate, motorcycles, improvements, and steering wheel. Yep, we know about that. Finally, as already mentioned, we are pleased to see many players embracing the game exactly as we had always envisioned. Seeing you share numerous photos of your garages or screenshots of your best drives with friends at sunrise on sunset social media warms our hearts and represents a unique vision of the automotive passion in Test Drive Unlimited. And this is just the beginning. Now, uh, that's a pretty sick livery. I do like that. Uh, credit to Zerphonic. Oh, we know Zerphonic. Hell yeah, Zerphonic. <laughs> I knew that looked familiar. Um... This is from Rhombus9. Okay, all right. Hell yeah. Got some, ooh. I would get that Ferrari, but uh, it doesn't sound good. We got a uh, Timo8201. Ooh, the Chiron. Nice, nice, okay. Got two Bugattis in the garage. Oh, shit. Ooh, ooh look at this. Galaxia. Oh, is this from Alex's stream? I know he's playing with Alex. That's fucking... I know exactly where this is. This is up on that peak. Um, it goes all the way to the top. And there's a little area right there. There's a little balcony. I know exactly where this is. Is that sad that I know where this is? Damn. Two MC20s, AMG, and a ZL1. That's a fucking fantastic shot. Hell yeah. And uh, there you go, boys. That's it. So, big patch coming soon with 300 fixes. Hopefully it fixes all the issues talk of an offline mode balancing ai all kinds of stuff i mean hopefully uh this solves most of the issues and the game can you know remain smooth from here on out but uh let me know your thoughts you know the drill subscribe come back i'm live right now come hang out see you on the next one